But you know, the, the only people that can invest in the lost are those who have been found. He says, if you have a hundred sheep and one is lost, that the shepherd, even you representing the shepherd, but go searching for the one. One of the challenging things is um, in my family, uh, and many of you know this, that sometimes the good kids kind of get looked over. And just, just be honest, I know some of you parents, you know, right? You, you have to look over the good kid because they don't need the same amount of care and attention that the, that the one that is not so good needs. And you don't mean not to, not to be there. You, you don't mean to, to, to have them feel a sense of neglect, but you know that they don't need what the other needs. And so as it relates to time, you invest time that sometimes takes away time that they may have. The lost cannot invest in themselves because they are disconnected. The only group that has the ability to invest in the, 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 the well-being of the lost is those who have been found. Despite the mistakes and the hurt and the pain, I forgive you. But then he sends grace and mercy to pursue. Said, don't let them think that they're by themselves. He calls in love and mercy and wisdom and all of these, they go out in search looking for the lost. So as you know, this month we've been in vision. That's the reason that I believe one of the two priorities that we'll have for next year is evangelism. Our intentional time to go after the lost. If we're honest, we recognize that this is, this is part of the call that in Matthew chapter 28, we call it the Great Commission, but this is the very thing that he tells us to do. That upon Jesus' ascension into heaven, as he is leaving all things, he says, go, make disciples. And he says, teach these new disciples. Meaning that the old ones will be taught too, but one of the goals for us is how do we start teaching the new? How do we get the information to the new ones? How do we make sure that those that did not know get a chance to know that their lives may be changed and transformed? And I think we only get it when the church, his people, are actually moved by the things that moves God. 